What happened to Isabel Sellis? Two years spent searching for clues since she disappeared from her bedroom, but still no answers in where six-year-old Isa may have gone. But her family and friends are doing all they can to keep the hope of finding her alive. And Nine on Your Side, Simone Del Rosario is live in the newsroom after spending the afternoon with the Sellis family. And Simone, it's hard to imagine. It's been two years already. Well, it's a milestone they had hoped and prayed they would never reach, but two years later, they have not lost any resolve. Continuing to do what they can to put Issa's face out in the public, the family tells me it's not a matter of if, but when she comes home. <laughs> Hundreds of balloons float away in the Tucson sky with the hopes and wishes of all who released them to bring Issa home. Missing two years on April 21st, it's the second time the Sellis family has held this event to fundraise to keep her face out there so her case does not fade away. The community has come together in such a supportive way uh, to help find her. You know, people may have their doubts, uh, but as long as she's missing, um, we're going to keep searching. We lend a hand in any way that we can. Uh, we basically just keep praying and we're keeping that hope alive. The Bring Issa Home event is also a way for the Sellis family to give back. Safety, a top priority. The children are fingerprinted and parents walk away a little more prepared. Giving those, those parents at least that, that little card that has a lot of information, you know, I mean, it has everything for them. And, and maybe like a little bit of a safety thing that you did something for your, for your children and you have that little piece that might help you, God forbid you be in in the situation that we were in. Now tomorrow night we'll follow up more with Sergio and Becky Sellis, some of the struggles that they've been through in the last two years and how they continue to stay strong. And we'll also catch up with police to find out how many leads they've investigated to date. And I've seen some of the people, some co-workers that started with them when this first had happened and had always supported them and helped them with um, all the flyers out there and they're still with them today. We spoke to them today and it's just basically been an experience that everyone has experienced themselves. They say it's a nightmare and they can't imagine how the parents are feeling. And they've never given up hope. All right, thank you, Simone.